Hi guys, <laughs> welcome. Sorry, I had trouble connecting then. It wouldn't um, go through, so I didn't get to play my little uh, video before we start. But that's okay. I'm here on time. <laughs> um, how is everybody? <laughs> I hope you are well. Uh, hi, Abby, Emily, no problems. I do hope you feel better. Um, Ev, hello. Who else has popped in there? Sandra, hi, yes. Diamond painting, I love diamond painting. <laughs> Been doing it for ooh, quite a few years, but not as not as uh, um, fast and hard as, as uh, some diehard fans out there. <laughs> Just when I can. When I'm not doing other colouring stuff, you know. And when I'm not doing miniatures, yeah. <laughs> um... Hi Linda, welcome. How are you darling? Sending hugs and love to you. Uh, Angela. <laughs> Nana, hi. Ali, hi. Ah, no, you can't hop up today. I have stuff everywhere. Dawn, hello. Alright, so I think that's everyone. My name is Belinda if you're new here. Uh, today we're going to be doing a review. I, um... It's a bit of a story around this one. I actually decided to just order one to see what it was like from um, Treasure Studios Art. <laughs> and um, I had a bit of an issue with my first order. I ordered uh, this cute dragon. Uh, actually, let me just... I've sort of got everything all over the place here because I wasn't sure where to start. So no script. We'll just, you know... <laughs> you know me, just winging it. Oh, Linda. Oh, Angela. Uh, so this is the dragon. It's very hard to see here. I probably should have popped up the pictures. Oi, oi, get out. Um, it, uh, it's called Merlin's... Merlin and the Dragons or something like that uh, by Anthony Christo. And um, the when I got it, there was actually a crease, a massive crease in the canvas. So, of course, I contacted them and said I was going to do a bit of a review on it. Um, and I was a little bit disappointed because I couldn't. It was wrecked. Like, there was, it was, it was so weird, though, because it was at, right at the end of the canvas. So, it was rolled up in the middle. And uh, it wasn't until I opened it to just check it out and make sure it was all good that I realized it. So, um, anyway, sp spoke to... Uh, spoke to them and had a chat with them and said that I was planning on doing a review. Shadow, you can't sit up there. You gotta see this. <laughs> this is all my paint diamond painting stuff. So she's, you can't sit on it. You've got to get down. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> she's a brat. Um, Hi, Rosalyn. Hi, Terralyn. Hi, guys. Hi, Karen. Uh, so, she's a brat. She's not cute. She's a brat. <laughs> trying to be angry with her here. <laughs> <coughs> she heard something, so she's going. Um, so, anyway, uh, contacted them and said that, look, I was going to do a review, but I can't now because the product is damaged. So, she said that they would send me another one and... Uh, apologize we tried to fix it but it was just not not good enough so anyway I decided to order a couple of different ones and <laughs> um, from the same website because I thought oh, I'll I'm getting a replacement but I really wanted to do a review so I ordered I paid for these they weren't sent to me I ordered the hummingbird uh, I think that's one of their signature ones. I have put the links in the description as well, so if you want them, they're there. I ordered this cute ballerina, Elegance it's called, by Nicole, Nicole Payne. It's a, a ballet dancer. She's sort of leaning over. I know, it reminded me of my daughter for some reason. <laughs> and, um, and also uh, this one that I've got here. And the dragon I finally got. This was months and months and months ago. Uh, with everything that happened with COVID, the post took forever. I, I'm not exag exaggerating. This is actually upside down too. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it took forever. 
So uh, I finally got everything. Months later, I have everything. They're very beautiful, but not your thing. Well, hi, Heather. Hi, Christy. Welcome, guys. Um, <laughs> did Robin pop in? I didn't see Robin. Oh, there she is. Hi, Robin. How are you, darling? Actually, uh, Robin, I got a package. Um, <laughs> Cam's coffee mug warmer came. He's so impressed. He's already put it out on his new computer desk with his com new computer. Um, so, yes, he's very excited and he says thank you so very, very much. <laughs> And uh, he's he now has a new computer too, so he's now uh, left to my desk. So uh, I have mine to myself now. <laughs> so very happy. <laughs> uh, so thank you so very, very much. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Alright, so what I thought I would do is... Um, I would... I did a little bit so that I could show you what this one is like. Now, I've done cheap ones um, and expensive ones and uh, I've done this is so the the main feature of the uh, Treasure Studios art one is that they use mounting glue so what that means is that the glue they use is basically archival it doesn't yellow it doesn't crack it doesn't dry um, it's glue that they use to mount car pieces on so when they're mounting car pieces together they'll use this particular glue so uh, it is quite supposed to be a quite hefty glue uh, good quality and uh, you shouldn't lose once everything's stuck down you shouldn't lose anything from it so uh, obviously I can't wait 10 years to see if that's the case <laughs> we just hope it is the case uh, you can get them on eBay, actually, Linda. I'll send you a link later. Hi, Robin. How are you? Hi, Megan. Welcome. <laughs> um, I actually got Linda addicted to them. Oops. <laughs> and my sister, actually. She's totally addicted to these. <laughs> So uh, apparently the glue is mounting glue. Um, so it still is poured onto the canvas and uh, it's basically the same as a poured glue canvas except the glue that they use is for, it's a mounting glue. So it's a lot stronger. Um, as I said, it's not supposed to yellow. Uh, it doesn't uh, uh, go brittle and things like that. So that's one sort of feature of them that's different to others. Um, so the first thing I noticed when opening this set is uh, the box doesn't have uh, any nice Treasure Studio Treasure Studios art logos or anything on it. So you do just get this uh, Chinese box <laughs> with just the sticker on the end. Uh, so there is no fancy box or anything like that. Second thing I noticed is there's no coloured picture in the box so I got this uh, came with it uh, it's not colored it's gray uh, and it's got uh, all of the codes and everything on there that's it that's all that came in the box with it so that was kind of disappointing I would have liked to have had other than the one that's on the uh, actual painting here um, I don't know why I started upside down don't ask me I just rolled it out on the thing and started it. <laughs> Hi Kelly, welcome! <laughs> Who knows? They fell off, did they, Linda? Ah, oh. well, actually, I did lose one. I wiped my hands. I like to do that to it to make sure that they're all flat. And I did, look, there's another one there. I did have one pop off and I just had another one there that I'm just pushing back down. So, so far... I'm not overly impressed because I paid quite a lot of money for them. Uh, so, I mean, that's the good thing about doing a review where you pay for the product. It's not like, you know, I have to tell you the truth, don't I? 
Okay, second, third thing I noticed was that the, they all came like this already bagged, which is kind of cool. It means I don't have to sit there and pull apart every individual bag. However, I kind of found this a little bit... Um, I want to know... Like here it tells me how many I should have, okay, which is cool. But uh, I like to use... I like the little baggies. It gives me a better idea of, you know, what's going on. Anyway, so hopefully there's enough of each... <laughs> each and we don't run out who knows who knows uh, the other thing is that uh, the diamonds are tiny I'm telling you these are tiny compared to other diamond painting diamonds that I've used these are like miniature babies um, I found that when I don't know if you can see this already because they're so little, they actually don't fit in the squares properly. Uh, I'm just going to pull this up to the camera a little bit here. Can you see all these gaps? It's like the diamonds are too small for the actual square. So um, when I'm placing them down in, say, a group, uh, which I'm actually finding a little bit easier because they're so little, but um, they look like they're all nice and neatly bunched, but then there's these big gaps because the squares are too big for them. So the diamonds are actually really tiny. Uh, just one thing that I noticed straight off the bat, I guess. Uh, so they're littler than the actual squares themselves. Uh, a little frustrating. And uh, as you can see, I've got, I've got my light on underneath to help show you, but we've got gaps. Uh, and wobbly beads because they're not I can't get them all nice and snug and and tucked in so uh, just for an example I just want to show you another one I've got from a different company shadow you know let up here no go away so this is what I'm currently doing Look at these diamonds. The canvas is bent there, but they're so straight and neat. There's hardly any gaps in it. Um, I don't know if that makes any sort of sense at all, but the size difference between these diamonds and the ones I'm doing now currently is huge. So um, even with a couple of the cheaper brands that I've done, I found that the diamonds seem to sit a lot better. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but I do think that the diamonds are too small for the squares. <laughs> so... Um, their round diamonds are the same size as square, so they are tinier than normal as well. Okay, there you go. You think the canvas grid is too big. I do too. For the diamond size, um, I think they are too big. So this is a uh, Treasure Studios art. If you want to try one out, I have, they gave me a link. There's a discount code uh, for the month of November, so you're welcome to go give it a go and see what you think. Um, look, even though it is smaller, I'm actually finding it okay. Um, so, <laughs> in saying that, if there's a different kind of picture that you're looking for, then obviously other companies don't have everything. So these guys have their own artists or, um, what do we call it? What do we call it, guys? Come on. <laughs> They have a group of artists that do pay, uh, like artwork for like this one here was from Nicole Nicole Payne. The dragon one that I got is by uh, who's that one by again? Anthony Christo. Uh, they've got a whole signature range. So all this is a signature range one, uh, ones that they've always got. I guess. Um, so they do have lots of different designs. What is it called when an artist gives them the rights to a picture? Who knows that? <laughs> it 
yeah they pay what is that called um they pay the artist for the picture yeah that is good that's right that's what i was uh, what is it called um <sighs> I'm so lost. I'm having a blank moment in the brain. Words are really hard. <laughs> Words are hard. Licensed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny they're licensed <laughs> you guys are writing it up there and i'm looking it up i found it licensed <laughs> uh, which means that the artists do get paid so um this uh, gorgeous dragon that i've got uh, by anthony he'll get paid for that so uh that's a good thing that is a good thing so as I was saying, if um, you're looking for something by a particular artist, maybe you, they might have it there as well. Look, Linda, I've got your little magnet here. How cute is this? So, um, yeah, I guess that's sort of the main... I guess I was a little disappointed in the cost of them. Uh, and then the quality of the beads... Uh, Look, to tell you the truth, if, if they enlarged their beads a little bit or made their grid slightly smaller, um, <laughs> I think I think they'd be fine. I think I'd be quite happy with it. Um, I'm actually doing this one. I'm going to do it as a gift. So I do hope that it comes out sparkly and shiny. I've got, I mean, you can see a little bit of a sparkle on it compared to the other one that I just showed you, though. I mean, check out the sparkle on that. Seriously. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, I do have another diamond painting uh, to review this month. So, um, from uh, Crafties, they've updated theirs and they've started using poured glue now. Uh, they sent me a round one. So, I'm going to do another review uh, of of um that maybe next week <laughs> maybe next week well even they've got abs beads but they um it's not only that the beads are really shiny i'm not sure these just don't seem to shine as much i was saying that uh, to linda the other day in a conversation they're not as sparkly like they don't seem to be as I don't know, they're more dull or something. I don't know. There is a bit of a sparkle on them when you bend it a bit, I guess. I don't know, I just feel like they're not quite as... You know me, I like shiny and pretty. Your round sparkles more, does it? Okay. And, um... Uh... So you found the same thing, that the grid was too big, yeah? <laughs> Leslie, hello. Hello, everyone that's popped in. Abby, um, who else? Mona, who else popped in? Sorry if I missed you. Hello. <laughs> License, that's right. Now, I don't get any, the link and the the discount and everything, I don't get anything from that today either, guys. Um, it is purely from them so uh, if you would like to go and check it out go for it check it out use a discount grab one see what you think maybe you like the smaller diamonds better um yeah see what you think i don't know i don't know i'm not i'm not i'm not 100 percent sold I, I can't i'm kind of disappointed that i spent so much money i guess um i heard people rave about them so I thought, yeah, sure, I'll give it a go. And look, you know what, though? I have to be totally and brutally honest here. My first Diamond Art Club one that I brought, I wasn't happy with it either. <laughs> so, you know, um, it when I opened it, it there was stuff missing. All the diamonds were all bitty. Um, 
And to tell you the truth, the newer Diamond Art Club ones are way better. And that's probably because I've had plenty of feedback from people. So um, giving your feedback is really important. Make sure you do that when you buy from a company. Don't give them all negatives and, you know, don't um, try to put them down or anything. But really do give them a little bit of constructive advice. Say, or constructive constructive what do you call it? Criticism. <laughs> you know, tell them that you think that the diamonds are too small for the grids. Maybe they could make the grids smaller. Tell them that the beads don't seem to be as shiny as other companies. Tell them those things. Don't just sort of go with it and go, oh, yeah, I'm not going to buy from them again. You know, <laughs> make sure you go and give them your your um, thoughts because they'll, they can update it. Like if, if you didn't give that feedback, then how can they update it? My Alice canvas was dirty, was a little upset. Did you tell them, Abby? Um, as I said, I wasn't happy with the the dragon one. It had a great big thing through it. And they tried to, like, they went through it with me and gave me a whole heap of things to try. But um, I still wasn't happy with it. I wasn't happy with the way that it looked and the back of it was still wrinkled. And I was like, no, look, you know what? Because it is already wrinkled, even if I was to put it in a frame, I still could risk that area that was wrinkled not sticking properly later on and falling off. So I was just like, yeah you know what? Yeah. And, um, so yeah, I guess when it comes to like the very first initial thoughts on things, it's not always your final thoughts on it. Like, as I said, this one might not, might be okay, but the next one I do might not be okay or the other way around. Um, as I said, when I first did that Diamond Art Club one, I was like, I don't see what the fuss is. Honestly, you know, but it was one of their older ones. And, um, I happened to get a dodgy one straight off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, do I ever cover them in PVA glue to set them? Well, I don't. Uh, Linda uses something. What do you use, Linda, to cover your ones if, if you're wanting to protect them? Um, to tell you the truth, the Diamond Art Club one, like this one, I have rolled this and unrolled it so many times. Like, honestly, I've rolled it, unrolled it, rolled it, unrolled it, and I haven't lost anything. They don't fall off. I've never, like, the newer ones, brilliant. <laughs> um, I don't know how this will be. I haven't done enough to, to know, but Linda said that when she rolled it, they fell off. So... Sorry, dodgy camera. There we go. Um, yeah, look, they moved. I did have some movement already just from rolling it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get where those lines and gaps are already. If I was to roll that, if that roll edge is right on a crack, that's going to just bend that crack out more. It is going to be a pain. Pain! Um, but, I mean, this is a little one. The, the dragon one I've got, like, this is massive. This is huge. So I'm going to need to fold it. I'm not going to be able to... Uh, get away with not folding it like this one's as big as my board so I can just leave it out but th these ones I'm gonna have to roll to do section by section so yeah that's right Linda's saying hers was big too so uh this one's 80 by 50 uh, so truthfully I'm gonna find out when I do a big one Yeah. So you have to roll them. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, okay, Tara Lynn. So, yeah, Rachel's the lady I was talking to about it all. Uh, yeah, because mine came crushed. Um, so, yeah. 
and they'd <laughs> they had uh, folded down one of the boxes this one Can you see that so the actual diamond painting is almost if you have a look here there's only that much gap now that was actually folded in by that much so the end of my canvas was actually pushed inwards like that so it was rolled up but it was actually folded inwards so it was all curled and broken at the end of it like <laughs> uh, but I definitely think that they could do better with packaging yeah definitely uh, packaging and the post um, and it took so long so so long like you know uh, Diamond Art Club I ordered the one that I got yesterday live um, I ordered that not that long ago and it came I don't know how many weeks was that I can actually have a look uh, let's check it out I ordered it ordered on October 4th and uh, which was a Sunday I got it it took uh, four weeks uh, which is actually quite quick uh, I think the original ones I ordered took about eight weeks maybe longer <laughs> to get these it was crazy and then the replacement one took forever as well so you know, all good. All good. I have ordered some specials. Um, I've ordered some diamond art pens, and, and some uh, drill pens, and and the heads, the Everlast Everlasting tips. I've ordered some of those. Oh, wow. Yeah, four weeks, Linda. Actually, most of them have been about four weeks, no matter what. I don't think I've had any that have disappeared, so that's good. I have the Scorpio one to do. It's 70 by 87. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so Tara Lynn, have you got, have you tried one of the, one of these canvases? I'm just curious. Oh, you've just heard. <laughs> Everlasting tips. Yes. <laughs> what Scorpio one? No, no, remember you changed your clock, so it will be different. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Kenny. <laughs> um, Tara Lynn, did you actually do one? Have you done one? <laughs> and I've ordered a couple more pens. Hi, Maribel, welcome. I've ordered a couple of pens too, so uh, just some acrylic pretty pens. Everlasting tips. I meant the um, Treasure Studios art. Have you done one of these before? Has anyone else done one before? And, you know, as I said, I heard people say that it was really good. So I thought, sure, why not? I'll give it a go. Got to be, if it's good, it's good. I need to just move my cord here. Up there. <laughs> it was sitting underneath it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not that, that fussed. Uh, I struggled, to be honest. Like, I, you know what, though? I... I for some reason, I could have finished the bottom of my other one in the time that I did this, I think. Um, so, yeah, I had to, but I had to get it out to, to do this. So I couldn't <laughs> to do it. <laughs> They're on Etsy. Everlasting tips. Yes, go get it, Linda. Good, good idea. Um, they're stainless steel and they're Australian. Oh, no. Uh, Christy, uh, uh, is, sorry, it's Kirsty, is it? My bad. Um, 
we put ours back month uh, uh, four weeks ago. So at the start of October it was roughly. Uh, so yeah, we've already put our clocks um, forward. So everyone got confusing because the time changed then. But you guys then have obviously put yours forward or back. I think you guys have put yours back. Is that right? I don't know how you guys work it, but hi Helen, welcome. <laughs> so the times are going to change slightly uh, until we get back to winter again. I think winter for streaming and times where the closest to you. But we're coming into summer now, so we're going to be further away from you. Yeah, okay, Tara Lynn. Well, I guess. I don't know. I still want to sell something. Like, if I was a, an affiliate, I'd still want to sell a product that I liked. Like, I wouldn't want to, you know, when you're putting your name to something, you want it to uh, go well. I'm just going to be back in two secs, guys. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, I'm getting the evil eye from Shadow. <laughs> She's like, why aren't you patting me? <laughs> um, all right. So I guess now I've sort of talked about my initial thoughts. I want to just go over some of the positives because I don't want it to all be negative. Positives are we've got a whole heap of images that are also licensed and that are different to other places. <laughs> um, two... I actually don't mind the little diamonds. I think it's quite effective and I think that uh, doing it is a little bit more delicate and uh, I actually don't mind the smaller diamonds. I do wish that they would fit better into the squares but I still like the smaller diamonds. Uh, the glue is mounting glue. It is supposed to be better. It's not supposed to crack or yellow and things like that so I guess that's a good thing there. And um, what else? Hmm. Um, <laughs> trying to think of some good things. I'm sorry. That's so bad, isn't it? Uh, what else? When I was doing it, what did I like about it? It was actually quite quick, to be honest. I thought it was going to take me longer because I was little, but it actually was quite quick. Um, I used a multi-tool for a lot of it. I found the multi-tool a little bit easy to use and, uh, I could get those fitting better into the squares with the multi-tool. Everlasting Tips in Texas. Oh, okay, Patriotic Beauty. The ones I ordered from were Everlasting Tips and they're in Australia. Um, I haven't got them yet. I ordered them about a week ago and they only just got posted this weekend so I don't know oh that was the other thing I found that um, I think they do these on demand so what that means is that um, they order them directly from the factory so you don't have to they, they haven't sold out of any if that makes any sense at all I'm pretty sure that's what uh, they're doing so they'll so other places seem to sell out because they have actual stock Whereas these are guys, and that's probably why they don't have packaging and things, I would say. They haven't organized that. But um, I think they get them directly from the factory, so they come f directly from China. They're not coming from America. Like, they're, they're different. So uh, they don't 
sell out of things. <laughs> that makes any sense. So uh, you don't have to, if something comes in, you don't have to quickly grab it because they're going to sell out. Um, they do have stock because it's coming directly from there. So you can get things that, um, you know, might be popular. Everybody's going to be able to get them. So, Hi, Shell. Oh no, who's unwell? I missed you earlier. I did say that you were streaming, but I was I woke up late. Top chat party shell. <laughs> oh my gosh, was he in quarantine? Is that what's happened? Did that link work? Everlasting tips, did the other link not work? That one worked, Linda. I ordered the one of the Christmas packs, which I think they've gone now already. They have, they don't have them anymore. He had a special one in October. Um, they are having trouble with people from Germany. I know that, that they had issues with with post and stuff and current and um, customs. So, but yeah, that's the link. That link worked, um, Linda. That's the only downfall with Diamond Art Club. I love their stuff, but you have to be fast to get them. Exactly, Angela. We have to stay up till three o'clock in the morning to get the pre-release stuff, and it's ridiculous. <laughs> Honestly, though, I have so many, so many now. I don't think I can buy any more. You have three? I have like 10 to 20 that I haven't opened yet, Shell. <laughs> oh my gosh, 4 a.m. Just go to bed and get up at that time, I reckon. <laughs> he had COVID. Oh, Shell. Did he get through it? You didn't buy anything this week? My sister did, Linda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kelly. -Ann. Actually, I, look, I can go through and count them. I have. Linda, don't you say. How <laughs> many you have? We don't. We, we, we're so jealous. We're jelly. We want them all. <laughs> I have no room for them. I the ones I got yesterday are out. I can't. I've got nowhere to put them away. <laughs> so they're just sort of sitting around. I keep kicking them, and they keep falling over. And I, I'm over it. Really over it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> poopy poopy. Anyway, I'm just gonna turn that up a little bit. <laughs> do you want me to do some? Let's do some. <laughs> You would die if you knew how many have I. I think I know. <laughs> I think I know. <laughs> I think I know. Now, I haven't put these in my little container because I'm still finishing off... Um, I'm still finishing um, this one. Like, this is it. I've got... This is the Diamond Art Club one. I've got literally... One, two, three, four little panels to do. <laughs> so, I'm so close I've been using it. Um, but, I, as I said, I probably would have finished it if I hadn't have done this bit. But, you know. <laughs> 10 to 20 unopened. Would, would you like to show me... Would, would you like to see my collection? <laughs> I mean... The these ones I just got, I brought four of those, so I've got four of the treasure treasure studios art ones. Um and three of those are unopened. This is the only one I've opened. And I don't know, I can't even tell you. I just got uh I'm gonna be doing a review of the crafties one uh next week. 
Maybe I should have made this a double review and done this and crafties. I'd need to change my thumbnail if I do that, but I don't know. I kind of feel like they deserve their own videos, don't you? You see Melody Stash. <laughs> You don't open them, but you do inventory. Yeah. No, I haven't opened them. I didn't even think about opening them to check them. I just, they're all good. <laughs> they're all good. Oh, Shell, I hope everything goes okay. <laughs> I I can kind of give you an idea. I've got one, two, three. Okay, so say I've got about twenty five. 28 unopened. Loretta, <laughs> you do too, Linda. <laughs> there you go. I've nearly got 30 unopened. <laughs> I have one going at the moment, um, which I'm almost finished. <laughs> I gave Alicia a couple too. Ah, uh, Leslie, I had my the my I was just saying that before that my very first one had uh, some missing, and uh, it was kind of frustrating. So that was my very first one, but I haven't had any trouble. I've done like four since, and I haven't had any trouble. Uh, you know that doesn't seem like much for, but with everything else that I do, it's actually quite a lot for me. <laughs> Now, these are all out of order because the cat sat on them. I don't know. Do you guys reckon I should do... I mean, we can we can finish this live as a, as a finished review. And I can go off and we can do a review on the, the new one I got from Crafties. Uh, and we can do an unboxing because I haven't opened that yet. Alright, you guys give me what you want to do. I do think that... It, I do believe it needs its own video I don't want to do it in this video um, so I don't know what do you guys think give me a vote one vote one if you want me to do the other one to see what the other one's like and vote two if you just want me to do some painting on this one I mean it's up to you I'll wait a minute Let's see what everyone comes up with. I'm just putting these in order while I'm waiting. Miss Kitty Kitty. Has messed them all up. in order when I do get to them. One, 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 one. <laughs> one, one, one. Let's do a different. And you know what? It's round too. So uh, it's slightly different. I haven't only done one round, which was a Diamond Art Club one. And I was, yeah, you know. <laughs> so, um, Alright, let me see if I can quickly do a thumbnail while I'm chatting with you and then we'll get to doing, setting up another, another. Uh, let's do diamond paint and chat, product review. As I said, if you'd like to check, um, Treasure Studios art 
and their uh, diamond paintings. There is a discount code in the description. It is only valid till the end of November 2020. I think it's 15% off, but I think if, if you are a first time customer, you can get 15% off anyway uh, on your first order. So, you know, up to you. I'm just uh, doing a thumbnail quickly here so I can set up a new video and uh, we'll we'll come back and we'll we'll do more. Alrighty. So this one will be from Treasure Studio. So this one's Treasure Studio's art. And the next one will be from Crafties. Um, and they're the ones that I did the diamond painting, uh, the paint by numbers review for a couple of weeks ago. Alrighty, I have my thumbnail and everything organized. Let me just pop over. I will have to put all the details for it, uh, obviously, after the video. Otherwise, we'll be sitting here forever. Okay, I will see you in a bit. Uh, we'll pop over and I'll start a new video. Um, I hope that uh, you enjoyed this one. I mean, you know what? It's better to get everybody's sort of... It's better to get different opinions before making a final decision. And also, these guys do different sizes. So you can choose a smaller size and give it a go and see what you think. So, uh, yeah. She got me addicted. I did. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Um, all right, let's do this. I'll jump over and uh, go up live for you. So I'll post it on the community page as well. All right, yo. Wait, there's something else I have to do first before I can do that. But give me five minutes, guys. I'll see you in a bit. Bye! See you in the next video! Please don't run away. Make sure you hang out. I'll be back in a bit, alright? I'm not going anywhere. Come back! <laughs> okay, guys. I'll be back soon.